smiling, pleasing faces first thing in the morning. Thank you everyone for uh, taking our time on a Saturday morning. So we have a very interesting topic uh, lined up for today. We are going to talk about uh, heavily debated, already debated in various forums about the applications of degrees in this today's modern world where skills sometimes are rated more heavily as compared to uh, college degrees and university degrees and certificates. So I also wanted to talk to you about it and take your opinion because you have been in the industry uh, working day in and out dealing with clients. So what are the applications of college degrees and what is the utility in today's context? So before we get there, uh, it will be good to refresh our own school days and college days, go back to old memories and think about why we went to college. So let's let's uh, get on to a round of the inter introductions and know each of you better and your backgrounds better. Which cities are you from and which colleges did you go? What did you study there? Why did you study that particular subject that you chose to do? So a flashback kind of a thing before we get on to a, a detailed discussion. So we can start with uh, Mumbai, Vijay Sharma, and then move to Delhi, Khalid, and uh, move to Saurin Trivedi in Gujarat, and finally go down south to Mahesh in Coimbatore. That's the order. We'll, uh, we will uh, follow. Uh, good for morning, time. sir. Good morning, sir. And, uh, good morning, colleagues. And first of all, I would like to thank to Vani for organizing uh, such a wonderful platform where we can, you know, interact on a, such a topic which I had never thought in my life on this particular topic in future, I'll be able to express my views or some kind of atmosphere will be created where I can get a chance to speak on this particular topic. So just starting with my background, actually I've been born and brought up in Mumbai, completed my graduation from Mumbai University, uh, then, entered, then uh, for the next two years, I pursued my career in chartered accountancy course and over there actually I couldn't succeed and then uh, due to the fam uh, financial issues of the family, the, decided to become an earning member of the family and then easily got entered into the pharmaceutical sector. Why I, word you, uh, why I use the word easily? Because if you look at the educational uh, requirement uh, needed for getting entry into the pharma sector is the graduation. Okay, so I easily got entry into the pharmaceutical sector and then later on I came to know okay, uh, even though entry is quite easy, but it's very tough to survive over here if you are not sharpening your skills over a period of time. If you are not putting efforts in your job profile, then you will be out of the system. So uh, started my initial six months of my career with the JB Chemicals. Then after six months, got an opportunity to work with the Cipla Limited. I joined Respiratory Team 1 in Jan 2007. Over there for approximately two and a half years, I worked as a territory manager. And uh, by looking at my performance, company shifted me to the PHK division that is known as Super Specialty Task Force. So I got shifted in June 2009. Sure. And then in July 2011, got elevated as an area manager. And then since then to till now, I've been uh, working as an area business manager in PHK division. Now, sir, coming to the question, what made me to uh, join college? Uh, you, you can imagine a life of a person, a 15 year, 16 year person who has just recently passed out the school uh, with full of disciplined life in the school. Now, uh, at this stage, he is a minor. So neither his parents can expect him to earn the money, nor he is interested in earning the money. And thanks to the, I would say, uh, Bollywood movies actually, which has portrayed our college life in such a beautiful way that it acts as an attraction towards the teenagers. Okay, even if he's a below average student, he would love to join the college life. Okay, because he knows he, this time is no, never going to come again in his life. So, and uh, number two, as I mentioned, there is no necessity to earn the money at the age of 15 or 16. So here, parents and the child, both are interested in investing uh, money in developing their uh, career, developing, sharpening their skills. Okay. So over there, the need of the time was not to earn the money, but to inter but to invest in yourself, but to invest in your academics. So uh, as, I, as I said that key, we have to act as per the necessity of the time. So at that time, the necessity before me was, you know, uh, to invest in my uh, academics, to invest in my career. So uh, which made me to enter into the college life. 
so sir uh, this is all about like my answer how i entered into the college life so uh, thank you thank this you, is all about this so that was a good introduction and a very honest answer that you wanted to have some fun so you went to college as a teenager great so let's move to delhi khalid why did you go to college and which college <laughs> did you go to and what did you study some details about college more than your job yeah yeah definitely sir very good morning to all of you and uh, thank you very much vani team uh, to me having me in this uh, good platform because as uh, vijay said that we never ever think that ki we could be discussing on particular this topic so it's very out of the box you can say that uh, my basically career is just ups and down happen in my life uh, i started my uh, you know uh, my schooling career from the bihar board and my family actually is uh, not very stable uh, in terms of financially uh, very well stable so uh, i did my school from uh, bihar board and uh, then there was a question that what to do my uh, my brother actually was uh, doing job in delhi so he came after just passing my 12th he came in bihar then why don't you come with me in delhi there is a lot of opportunity so you can come and join with me so uh, i came delhi frankly speaking and there was no any uh, aim that what to do but of course as every indian family as everyone think that ki after this passing 12th we should have to go either for the engineering or for the doctorate so we should have to be compete for that so there was a the background of my mind that ki we should have to go try for the engineering so, but uh, i was not a very bright student to be honest because uh, my you know schooling uh, was not so uh, basic uh, basic was not very clear so uh, i don't compete uh, uh, engineering so i decided to go for the graduation and finally i got opportunity in jami millia islamia where i did uh, my graduation in uh, chemistry and uh, after 3 years definitely the question that you what to do next and till now i you know learned a lot in this jami millia islamia so uh, after that uh, i decided to go for the you know uh, further uh, job because i don't want to be you know uh, dependent on my brother <laughs> then i moved for the uh, job then definitely as vijay said that ki it's very easy to uh, grab you know uh, opportunity in the sales uh, pharma line especially pharma line because pharma people uh, pharma companies accept all the types of people who definitely doesn't have any op much opportunity so definitely i came join in this uh, manken pharma uh, where i got an and opportunity and earned a lot in this pharma after that uh, 10 years of a span of time and then i moved to the uh, cepla So it was very, very definitely uh, ups and down happening in my life. And meanwhile, I did uh, my MBA because uh, I was financially very stable after this coming in pharma. Because pharma people, you know, are in so many incentives, and if you are doing very hard work, there are so many perks also. So I definitely am very well, and now I am very much stable thanks to Almighty as well as this uh, uh, pharma guys. So and then I did my MBA also uh, in pharma marketing. So this is all about my journey basically. great khalid so we got to know couple of things that you came to delhi for further education then you did mba and you made lot of money in cipla <laughs> cipla and manken the both because great. 10 years <laughs> 10 years i did uh, with uh, manken for man four and half years with cipla thank you thank you for letting us know so mahesh uh, mahesh sitaraman oh, sorry we'll go to soren and then go to mahesh yeah i guess it. yeah i guess it's my hi hi good morning everyone uh, i'm saurin trivedi and first of all thank you vani for providing such a good platform i actually remember my good old days of uh, uh, cracking those gds and interviews while having college placements and i i literally came into the deja vu that this is same same thing is happening now so i'm basically from ahmedabad born and brought up in ahmedabad my parents are there in ahmedabad and currently i am working at rajkot location in gujarat i'm working with asian paint since uh, 2012 uh, i did my graduation from ahmedabad that is uh, uh, gls uh, gujarat law society and uh, uh, within the same campus there is one college named nr ibm uh, nr international business management that is the uh, under the umbrella of gls society only and i did my post graduation from there only I did uh, MBA with marketing uh, from uh, 2010 to 12 batch, and I got recruited from campus placement uh, in this Asian Paints, and working in Asian Paints since last uh, 10 years. This is my 10th consecutive year in Asian Paints. So that's all about me. Okay, so tell me some fun things about your college and what. Oh, yeah, I missed that part. Okay, 
so uh, the question you asked that uh, why why i went to college so frankly speaking i did my uh, studies in uh, i did my 11th and 12th in commerce background and being into commerce we do have only two opportunity to get in the first one either we can opt ca cs that is basically accounting parts and we can move further into those uh, fields uh those fields actually need more attention and uh, uh, more courage to get pass uh, but uh, i was not that bright student and hence my parents knew me they insisted me to uh, get enrolled into the commerce background so i i uh, took my bcom degree as a graduate uh, i i passed out uh, from the gls and <clears throat> i did bachelor's of commerce post bachelor's of commerce uh, we had uh, two three options only because uh, commerce people normally uh, uh, do uh, this uh, charter charter accountancy or they 70 75% of people went for the mba or let's say mca kind of a degrees so i enrolled for for both mba and mca and, and somehow i get to manage to uh, get uh, admission in, in uh, mba stream uh, after getting into mba the I, i was initially in a plan of doing mba with finance but uh, the finance was not a my cup of cake and so the easiest part which i chose that is marketing i I've, i've never ever uh, uh, thought that i will be uh, uh, choosing this line uh, some of my friends forced me that let's get into the marketing you are kind of people that you can uh, crack this dream so this is how i i completed my mba with marketing and uh, get get the job in asian print from the campus recruitment interesting so it was a series of uh, uh, coincidence i can yeah frankly speaking it was not planned way okay so you took up commerce and then you applied for mca and mba both and somehow uh, you landed in mba and people forced you to get into marketing because finance was looking a little tougher right so what was the easier choice you took it up but uh, right. you have done that true excellent mahesh yes sir so first of all good morning to all so so much thanks to sipra and vani to for choosing this platform so wonderful topic college and success in life so my name is mahesh itaraman i am from basically at coimbatore from tamil nadu so my native is in deep south in tirunel valley so i'm studying my 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 education all in tirunel valley only i'm studying in st john's college palayam kote so my my qualification is a bsc chemistry so uh, this college period i am taking this particularly this chemistry and whatever things now only thing i am going joining this college for only the degree purpose because now in school time i'm very average student only my because my and my family also that poor to medium stage so very uh, that position only so that in a very uh, very average students actually my scores are not better in, in the 10th and even the 12th also so in that situation now uh, one of my uncle now uh, he is in the medical representative that two uncle so uh, he is in a more impression because he wearing the tie and taking the bike so i looking is all every, uh, all uh, personality and very much impressed so that time i decided to make i become a medical representative in my school times so i uh, but i am not much more because at that age now we don't know about that this professional uh, like this this mind setup we are not getting that time so that yeah, the, after my school completion now i am getting very low, low score uh, low score mark so i uh, after my parents also look a little bit worry so which uh, what what is my next career level is there whether, whether he is going to join in diploma courses or either anything so my uncle told that uh, he, you, he need some degree so i will took him took him to medical representative or some of because that time my the minimum qualification we required for the, uh, medical representative some some of the science graduate science degree uh, graduates so we took i am scoring better than all other subject chemistry i am getting good marks so i am got an opportunity to get the bsc chemistry in st john's college so in after that i am joining the college also that college having some of the like strikes and some the, when on one year na that 60 to 80 days the one always in strike only so i am learning all in uh, first uh, more than the my education i am learning all the surrounding circumstances because i am surrounded always with my friends that is more helpful help uh, help me for this professional because we riding the entire day 100, 100 to 50 kilometers per day for the medical representative this is a, uh, that that time the, that experience is helpful a lot in uh, my medical profession medical representative profession 
So only thing that this degree is only for my <laughs> only the qualification only. After I, once I completed the degree, now after I uh, came to my uncle folks in Tirupur actually. Uh, he is one year now. I am not getting any job, any professional, and he is also not aware about that uh, medical medical uh, representative professional. So that time I am a little worried about that. So one time I decided now. So what, whatever the job I am getting now, so we can join immediately because my family situation. So that time my uncle told Mr. Srinivasan told, told uh, you can meet the one person. So he, he will take he providing some of job like that. So I'm, I'm casually enjoying and I thought now some other textile jobs are like that. I'm going for before meeting. I thought thinking. So once I'm meeting now, he's one of the manager in a pharma company. So I'm really got surprised because my my uh, own <laughs> whichever the professional I'm like now that feel that person I'm meeting now. I'm so exciting. So that time my professional career is uh, stopped and then the 2006 from. My first company is Nicholas Peramel. So in that time is a good. No, no, my first company is also one of the top company at that time. So after I'm working around in two years in that company. So after that, uh, Nova Total Healthcare because of then that manager that big company to low company now because of only thing now I'm doing my work. I'm uh, sincerely doing my hard work because my leg like, always I'm keep on running like that. So he did he like more than he changed to some other company, Nova Total Healthcare, Chennai based company. So he took my he took the company from Nicholas. So I'm working around the three years in that company. Suddenly the company got wind up. So immediately I'm joining Torrent Pharma and that company only I'm I'm, I'm learning about the full entire thing. How the how, uh, what are the this entire thing? Even the stock is entire make a career uh, learnings. Now I uh, learn only from the Torrent Pharma. So after I'm joining Ranpaxi Urology Division, after that Sun Pharma has merged that company. So in that Sun Pharma, I'm getting an internal uh, interview like a CPP and got eligible for area business manager in Coimbatore. So after I'm joining in uh, two, from 2019 and joining supply urology as an, as, a, as an area business manager in Coimbatore headquarters. And this is my overall college and my professional experience. Thanks. That was a very detailed explanation. What I got to know was you were always inspired to become a, a medical rep and get into pharma sales and that inspired you right from school days. But the only way was to do a graduation in chemistry. So you went to college to study BSc chemistry and also landed up learning more about political science because of uh, yes. frequent in politics in your college campus. So you learned yeah. multiple things in the college. OK, so what what are what are the fun things that you did in college? I think that Apart people play, playing, uh, watching cinemas and uh, we are, I'm meeting different types of people at that time because my friends and nearby some of the other colleagues now uh, different types of characters I met, met on that time. So because now I good good habits also uh, I took and bad habits also took that time. So, so what are, what were those bad habits attending classes? Is it not no, bad habits means not like the smoking or like not like that. So how okay. how we uh, people like the behavior now how we have, have to speak with the some other person because now I only missed that time now in pro, uh, pure professional I didn't learn from the from those people actually how we have to improve my knowledge and the, some some words that I missed in my missed miss in that my college times. Sure. And now I realize that uh, I missed the, missed the college time. <laughs> we okay. must learn something about that. OK, so when did you all Sorin, uh, Vijay, Khalid for everyone? When did you first learn cycling? Do you remember when did you first learn cycling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned cycling, right? Yes. When? when yeah, did you learn? I learned. I learned my cycling from my uh, school days only, so I, I must be uh, in uh, sixth standard. I know that because my first guy, uh, first cycle was stolen by a thief uh, in in very uh, first week when we brought the cycle. So it was a uh, memory in my mind that uh, uh, when I uh, learned cycling and I bought the first cycle. So I learned cycling in sixth standard because uh, seventh standard onwards in in my school uh, we do, we uh, generally have morning shifts from uh, eight to ten standard. So till seventh standard we do have a uh, noon shift and uh, just because uh, from eight standard it it will become a morning shift. Normally people uh, I mean normally students get uh, get to uh, go on uh, go to the school by cycle only. So I learned cycling from uh, sixth standard and there was a slope in my apartment. I used to uh, I used to tell my friend that please uh, keep I mean 
keep that uh, keep hold that cycle from behind and I, i'm i'm uh, getting a cycle from that slope and trying to learn the cycle so that was the sixth standard i started learning cycle so about 11 years 11 to 12 yeah. years yes sir what about mm -hmm. when did you first learn cycling actually uh, uh, just my upbringing upbringing happened in this uh, remote uh, village basically so till 10th standard i was in uh, bihar uh, there was a village called uh, uh, arsimpur so uh, i was not a uh, you know on uh, cycle till the time of uh, you know uh, age of 10 years but at the 9th when i got admission in this uh, school then my father bought me a cycle and then i started you know uh, riding a cycle and uh, there was i think a 12 km from from my uh, native village uh, school was there so i started cycling uh, from that onwards till it's standard you can say that so you learned cycling when you were about 13 years old 13 yeah, to 14 yeah yeah 13 to 14 years okay mahesh what about you when did you first learn oh. cycling i fourth standard i i think i think fourth to fourth standard i my mother's native places i took and then my uncle has uh, we take we took the rent rent cycle in that time so i very much interested to learn the cycling at that time so i learned about that yes. about eight years yeah. right yes vijay about you uh, sir actually i was not that lucky enough to have a cycle during my school days or even college days so uh, at that time, actually, we were more into cricket. Uh, our entire friend circle were more, was more towards the cricket and other outdoor activities than the cycling. And just uh, five years back, actually, I learned cycling. And, uh, and because why cycling? Because I want to learn to drive the Activa. So someone told me that if you want to you know, buy, learn to drive the two-wheeler, better to have a practice on a cycle. That is the reason I started learning cycle just five years back only. So at that time, it was not the necessity for me or neither my peers or my siblings were having a cycle so that they can uh, so that I can get exposed to uh, cycling during my school days. So uh, just five years back only I learned cycling and we were more towards uh, other uh, sports games. OK, so going back to Sorin, uh, when was the last time you did cycling? Last year only. So la actually uh, uh, last year. Uh, I mean, just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So last year we bought a new cycle uh, because uh, my wife is working with SNP Global at Ahmedabad and uh, their company provided uh, that uh, co co uh, yeah, reimbursement. So one can claim uh, up to 10,000 uh, for uh, health. I mean, anything with related to health you can buy and reimburse into the company. So we decided to buy a cycle. Uh, I bought it last year. I, I uh, tried it last year, but unfortunately, uh, since last year I could, I mean, the cycle is there in the compound since last uh, one year. The, both of the tires got punctured now. I uh, did not get time to. A gap of how many years did you uh, do cycling last year? After a gap of how many years? It was around three, four years. So when I was there in Ahmedabad at my native place, uh, uh, one of my friend uh, bring a cycle at uh, our common destination where we used to meet and I tried cycling there. So it was after three, four years I tried cycling last year. I I uh, ran it for for a week kind of a thing and then it is still there in the compound lay, lying there. You are comfortable riding a cycle. No, actually, I'm comfortable riding a cycle. Actually, I wish to start my uh, riding again, but unfortunately, with this type, this work schedule, I cannot manage to get up early in the morning and start my this uh, cycling or regular exercise uh, pattern. Okay. What about you, Vijay? You since 2006, you cycling. when did you last do cycling? Uh, seven days back, actually, seven days back. Uh, my activa was uh, busy with my daughter, so uh, I thought to drive a cycle of my neighbor. So at that time only, I uh, just uh, mm. drive a cycle at that time only. And uh, I didn't remember exactly. Trust me, because uh, at the age of you know, at the uh, age of thirteen, I bought cycle and till. Uh, class 12th, I was having cycle, but when I shifted Delhi in 2001, since then I don't think I don't have a cycle here. Definitely I have a bike and car also, but uh, cycle I didn't remember in Delhi I ride it. So, so approx yeah, approx approx you can say that 20 years. <laughs> so if I give you a cycle today, would you be able to do cycling? 
of course because i drive bike uh, by uh, motorcycle as well so my daughter has cycle this uh, but uh, i am confident i can drive super what about you mayesh when was the last time you did cycling actually sir i bought four years back sir i bought one new cycle uh, uh. For for only the daily exercise purposes only sir after that uh, after for six months i am continuously i am doing that cycling after that i got a uh, promotion for the area business manager after that still now that cycle is kept on my home only i am not able to uh, use so the cycle so if you start cycling today will you be comfortable doing it or yes, you will have definitely no. okay so there's a reason why i asked all of you about the cycling uh, question so now sorin the next uh, question which i am very curious to know from you is yeah. just about your class 11th or class 12th or even first year of your graduation okay okay tell me about one subject and uh, one of the chapters in detail uh, class 11 12th or first year correct any one I chapter think. all of you can think no. about while sorin or something so uh, frankly speaking it would be a difficult for me to remember any specific uh, chapter or uh, let's say lesson from the book because uh, i was not that kind of uh, student who is having sharp memory so even you gave me three options of 11 12 or let's say first year of graduation i i can say that these were the subjects uh, in 11th or 12th or in first year of commerce but i i cannot remember the typical chapter out of that uh, course no problem khalid same yeah, here uh, i i think if option will be there definitely i can crack but as far as the permanent this is concerned whatever the brand we have whatever the things right now we have we can talk almost 30 minutes for particular on topic but no, no, class, uh, class yes, yes that there's definitely uh, i didn't <laughs> exactly <laughs> remember what exactly was the topic but Vijay? definitely because uh, my daughter is in uh, uh, kg so i start you know uh, learning so many thing from the kg uh, standard because there are some things which i have to you know learn and taught her so i am now start uh, practicing with her in kg standard hopefully uh, slowly gradually i will learn lot of thing with her but i didn't remember exactly what was the topic uh sir in my case actually i learned uh, i still remember the final account uh, like in first year uh, when we are telling the final account balance sheet that mm. i still remember the formula like uh, debit what comes in credit what goes out <laughs> debit all income uh, expenses losses credit all incomes and gains uh, third one actually i start didn't remember remember now but final account is the thing which, which i like the most and uh, so that's why i remember it because for uh, for hours and hours i used to practice it So uh, that I, I love the most. If I Hello? give you 15 minutes, can you explain the chapter? Uh, sir, I can explain about these two rules, like uh, debit all in uh, expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains means whatever. Like as you know, uh, in accountancy, debit and credit, uh, credit uh, these two sides are having. Uh, so it is the rule of a real account, like. Uh, if in cash uh, comes in, then you need to credit it. If uh, what comes in is the credit, and what goes out is the debit. So if you are spending something, that means you are debiting it. And if you are gaining something, that means you are crediting it. And uh, whatever expenses are there, you need to put on the debit side. And whatever incomes you are getting, you are you need to put it on the credit side. Even we we talk about balance sheet. Uh, on the right hand side, there it has to be mentioned as the assets. On the left hand side, it mentioned as the liabilities. so when we talk about assets like our deposits like uh, interest on any investments uh, these kind of things uh, we need to uh, note it at the asset, at the asset side whereas in liability side like wh- how much we owe to others okay uh, how much we, in interest we need to pay to the shareholders or dividend to the uh, debenture holder shareholder uh, debenture holders so these kind of things uh, whatever is the responsibility is on us that is that comes at the liability front so this just a little bit uh, still having clarity in my mind sir little bit of this what about mahesh so one thing only one remaining them and uh, even the uh, my school days remain only remaining tamil poetry sir only oh, thing yeah. I, remember your organic chemistry or inorganic i am very much interested in physical chemistry that one yeah. I, but i am not uh, known about that particular uh, uh, equation actually it's a very, very big equation so that uh, in the college time na uh, that physical chemistry i am doing good Right. So that brings us to now our next question, which goes to Khalid. So why do we go to college? I mean, if we have to finally do something else, 
and we don't even remember uh, what is physical chemistry or whatever we studied in our first uh, 11th standard accounts or uh, business studies or whichever subject that you know as per my point to be honest there are three type of people, people who usually go to college uh, someone who is very very ambitious and have a dream to do something they usually have to go to the college of course because there is a way to fulfill their dream because we got, uh, without college definitely there is hardly someone who can uh, like uh, uh, do and fulfill their dream and the second one is basically uh, the person whose father whose parents want a degree because someone who is definitely not interested to go to college but because of the parents need because the parents ambitious they have to bond they go to the college and the third one is like me like other my uh, colleagues who definitely is not uh, you know belong to the very well established family and having not a very bright student average student they have to go to college to take a degree at least for the graduate because maximum jobs in india as well as across the world they at hire at least graduate people to, to grab the graduate degree we have to go for the college for better stable life and fulfill your you know uh, need uh, for the job this is the reason why these about three people they used to go to college sure uh, sorry you want to add no thank you this yeah. is the reason yes soren would you like to add something yeah yeah definitely so uh, normally Uh, era where my parents got uh, passed out so the, at that time hsc and ssc was the uh, was called as a higher studies but nowadays if we see uh, when i uh, completed my graduation the graduation was not enough uh, everybody was doing graduation and uh, uh, everybody was doing masters at that at my time when i passed out uh, am i audible yes you are hello yes you are audible yeah you are audible All right. Then, bad network quality all right so uh, normally people go to the uh, college because of first of all they need a job security uh, college uh, gives them a job security they wanted to learn valuable skills uh, from their uh, college and from the courses which they selected uh, they uh, people actually wanted to explore different different career options uh, if they joined uh, graduation like for in my case when i joined uh, uh, bachelor of commerce uh, when i was into the last year of my commerce degree i came to know that these are the two three options which i can get into after my graduation so probably better to get into the post graduation i had two choices uh, either to go for uh, mca or let's say mba so net net uh, it is for the job security or for the pathway which you wanted to enter into the uh, career direction way ahead okay so when you say job security i think you are uh, meaning that you know people will get placements when they go to an mba college is that right so many of the colleges nowadays even t tier 1 t yeah Ma many colleges uh, nowadays uh, uh, get gets you opportunity to uh, get a direct job placement or co campus placement and that's what i call job security because if you if you are a good or let's say average student studied from a tier 1 college you definitely get a job security from those colleges uh, a good uh, companies coming to the campus placement for such kind of colleges i think that's a very valid point so vijay what are your views uh, sir actually uh, just having a, a agreement with uh, shorid and khalid Uh, as Khalid mentioned, there are three kinds of people. Just adding to that, uh, sometimes it's uh, depending upon the atmosphere, the environment in which we are living. Actually, uh, that matters to you know enter into the college life first. Uh, like uh, during 60s or 70s or even 80s, uh, 10th or 12th was uh, were considered as a decent education and can fetch you a better job in your uh, in your career. Okay, but as time passes. Uh, society keep on evolving their expectation keep on rising and now uh, along with the degree as shorin said uh, shorin said along with the degree you need a masters a masters degree also along with the graduation so it's all about like it's a society uh, increasing exp expectations from us if you are not going to the if you are not completing your degree that means you are below the average and now if you are along with the degree if you are not completing masters that now you have become the below average and so secondly uh, we indians actually are having uh, you know habit of copying or following what our siblings or, or what our friend circles are doing 
actually see, see after 10th uh, if you see 99% of our teenagers they are just uh, they entering into the college life so again we do not have anything to uh, earn or anything to learn then that's why we thought ki chalo this is the system after 10th i need to do 11 12 and then college so because of this mentality people entered into the college life and thirdly as uh, shorin said ki actually uh, college uh, college degree provides us a security that we can have at least decent income in our hand uh, if, if you start working okay so again uh, here job security also plays a vital role now sir i'm putting a case study of a rich guy uh, who's uh, whose father is having a good business to handle so i think he doesn't need a college degree to at least earn a uh, earn a basic income okay but here in this case actually he he uh, he gets a degree just to match up his standard of living just to show to the staff that uh, even if i am your boss uh, but uh, i have done my graduation my masters and mbas even if uh, he is not skilled enough okay but for the sake of labeling him himself as a degree holder he has pursued his career and he has got the degree so here purpose also plays a vital role of getting a degree so that's point actually i want you to make i think you made very good points about social prestige and snob value so rich people uh, take acquiring degrees to show off that they have gone to maybe international universities and uh, show off that degree to their uh, staff or maybe in their social circles so that's a fantastic point vijay i will take this forward to sita uh, mahesh sita raman so you had mentioned that you know you went for a degree just to become eligible to get a job otherwise you would not have got a job you wanted to become eligible because the company's eligibility criteria was at least a graduate but now if you know many of the blue chip companies technology companies are removing degrees as a barrier as long as you are skilled you can get a job you have to pass their test you have to prove your skills and you are in you don't have to show a certificate which you know shows a distinction there so what are your views how are things going to change yes sir it's a different uh, it's a depend upon the people person sir actually how the if the people taking the degree is college going to college uh, join the college now uh, they the mm. purpose is only uh, for the professional career uh, career purpose only because which are the major they taking the even the chemistry or science uh, physical physics or something so if the some people i am not getting very much uh, i am taking as a college as just a qualification but you, during my, in, in my friends one of the, one of the person now he is very much confident about this chemistry and now he is a professor in uh, same college actually so depending on people they are choosing but after that you rightly said sir because the not now the many companies are uh, the qualification is doesn't matter only the ability how they uh, have skill skill knowledge only the experience uh, only the asset for the getting the job uh, actually so it's that's the what that i have, that i will accept sir actually but now, now that on particular that time na that education level is good but depend the person will how they how how they learning and that particular time so now i am really na this is the this, this time i i know about the uh, entire environment so i missed the, the my college times my, my education time that i am really early yeah. thank you and like so, i feel about that khalid do you agree with uh, vijay's point and uh, the other points that people made one is <laughs> prestige that is one side social prestige to show off to people to show off to your friends and relatives that i have done b i have done mba i have gone to singapore and all these things that is one part and on the other hand companies saying that you know we don't require your degrees gradually that might happen with google and apple and these companies saying we don't require degrees we require skills so will will uh, this uh, fad go away of acquiring more and more degrees what is your take i am totally agree because uh... you know three idiots for the movie which inspired more of us i think more most of you have seen three idiots in which ranchhor das was a character as vijay mentioned about it sir ki you know the rich people they acquire degree uh, to show off basically so this is definitely it's happened time time with celebrities if you see there so many celebrity they you know send their child to uh, oxford and so many universities not to feel they were because they have enough money to survive they don't have need to basically job what they do they just put their degree on the you know showroom so they uh, know so this is happening this is you can you can't deny this about it but as you mentioned that ki i uh, even i read about it that amazon as well as uh, google so many companies now start hiring without showing the degree so this is really a good start so so many people so many uh, people who is having a very good skill a very good uh, definitely skill they can start 
uh, you know, uh, sharpen their skill to grab this opportunity. But somehow I will agree with uh, uh, Sita Raman that especially in the some subject like uh, chemistry, like some uh, bio, you need to, uh, you know, uh, university, you need to have a platform where you have to be go and learn so many things, so many studies, so many research, because especially Amazon and Google type of thing, they are just expert in IIT. IT. So IT sector, definitely you have to be a waste for without degree, you can survive. But especially if you, you have to go for particular these type of, you know, things like uh, uh, practical things like chemistry, like bio, like uh, mathematics. You have to go and learn a lot of things for particular this. So this will happen definitely. Uh, both will be parallelly go as far as my experience is with it. So all of you somewhere agree that, you know, for making careers and getting jobs, a degree is required, right? So Vijay, uh, what is your take on, let's say, not having degrees? What would happen? Would you not be equally successful? Uh, sir, actually, about, I, about the job part. Apart from jobs, if you don't have degrees, if you're not interested in working, does that make you less successful? Uh, sir, I would say here, uh, success, definition for success is very different for the person who don't have a who doesn't have a degree. Uh, example, uh, I know these kind of people are very much less, even 0.1% of the entire globe's popul population. Talking about Bill Gates, talking about Sachin Tendulkar, uh, some, uh, they're same class of the people who don't have a college degree, okay. But they have, they have actually, uh, per, uh, they have followed their passion, okay. They have followed their burning desire. So, uh, and uh, their passion, their burning desire, uh, is, uh, they, uh, they are not dependent on any kind of degree, okay. So here, if you are not having any degree, that uh, the point I wanted to make is uh, just in order to survive, two things is required: either to have a degree or to have a particular skill set or a particular talent or a particular burning desire. Uh, by following that, you know you can create your own market, you can create your uh, own prospects, your customers. Okay. So uh, over there, uh, but such kind of persons are really a god gifted. Okay. Uh, and the uh, population of these kind of persons are very much minimal okay now uh, talking about third category if you are a rich guy you are having a business to run then there is no kind of degree required you just need to get the work done from your staff okay so over there degree doesn't play any role apart from having a social uh, social prestige and all but if even if a person doesn't have a degree just he need to get his work done and he knows about how to run the business and all from his father he know all the tactics okay so over there also a role of degree doesn't come Okay, so this is uh, what I, you know, uh, I perceived. Thank you. Sorry, would you like to add something to this? Yeah, sir. So according to me, degree in success has nothing to correlate with. Uh, yes, if you have a good degree, there are chances to get a success in life, but uh, uh, there is no guarantee if, uh, that degree can give you a full success because success is all depend upon the person's capability person has to put his all sweets and do hard work into the whatever field he is he is there into uh, if a person is there into uh, any field he has to know the ability to, to, to do the analysis he has to know about the uh, future for the field which in which he is doing work uh, basically according to me uh, anyone uh, who is having a good, good capability of taking right decision, taking a, uh, nego having a ne negotiation skills and uh, if, if he can do work in his own field, there is no need of a degree. We have ample of examples here in Gujarat wherein people do not have those uh, smart degrees, but they are very successful in their uh, career or, or let's say their business. We have a biggest industry of ceramic here in Morbi that is just two hours from Rajkot. So if you go to the Morbi, there are some four to five thousand factories making tiles and ceramics and this so all sanitary where they are. They are exporting everything across the globe and but they just yeah, they need degree uh, uh, degree and people just to do the export for the sake of their uh, business growth. But if they wanted to sell their ceramics uh, within country or let's say within their region, it is very easy to uh, sell that in their own network. So at, at some point they need uh, they need to hire skilled people for their uh, business expansion because they have uh, limited capability of doing this export and uh, documentation. But 
the uh, establishing of the business uh, a person or, or let's say a factory uh, owner does not need to hold a degree he just needs expertise in uh, making a ceramic he needs uh, expertise in market survey and uh, on the base of his excellence and uh, anal analytical skill he can any day get a success in his own uh, field thank you so yeah. i'm mindful of time before we close one last question for all of you we can do pitch so mahesh my question is uh, you, you go back to your college think about your college degree think about that cycling example that i gave you you remember cycling but you don't remember maybe that first chapter uh, in your 11th standard or 12th standard so after this flashback if i have to ask you for some tips for youngsters who are just going to pass out from class 10th and planning to make a career what is that tip that you want to give from your own experience what should they do so that they don't make those mistakes which you might have made or do those good things that you have taken some good decisions what are those tips that you want to share with them yes sir i am i am just only to give advice about uh, whatever you are studying now first uh, clearly understand and uh, uh, before before you are studying now you can understand about the subject and each subject is a very much helpful for each situation in your career so that much even though my sister is studying it in standard and even the last week also i made a conversation conversation with him so i am telling now whatever subject is a good or you are getting 100 100 marks or 90 marks somewhat but uh, but one thing that you have to clearly understand about that particular subject so what they are telling what what you are learning from that particular subject so that is the one thing i i would wish to any, any students and even though i my, because now i am missed that even though what is the, some of the questions you are asking now uh, today even though my professional also so what the basic things even though i am we, we i am studying in my school period or the college period now i am realizing once i am under uh, understand that particular subject and uh, subject now it will never forget in, in my, my mind so that's the only thing i advise to any students thank you alex yes so i would like to <clears throat> say that ki you know one quote i would like to hear that ki uh, if you have a beauty and not have goodness that will irritate you similarly in the education if you have a degree and not have knowledge that will definitely irritate you so uh, you should have to be a very good uh, knowledge for particular subject as my um, colleague said that ki wherever whatever you are doing you have to be a passionately do anything if you are doing chemistry if you are doing you know it whatever you are doing just do with the passion and of course you know very well that ki uh, the skill as well as the degree both are a part of coin one side of each so you have to now because earlier in uh, 80s and 70s degree definitely give you a job security but nowadays you have to do both to compete the market so you have to be skill you have to be definitely if degree required you have to be degree holder also because we you know very few people who have like steve jobs or mark zuckerberg as well as like uh, this bill gates who definitely without degree they definitely go uh, with that level so we have to for survival we have to be both skill as well as uh, this degree sure interesting point taken i think you uh, picked up you are inspired by three idiots excellence ke piche bhago marks ke piche mat bhago <laughs> definitely sir vijay uh sir here uh, like before pursuing any career after 10th first we need to ask the question uh, ourselves ki why if you are getting the answer of this why then our rest of the job would be much more easier actually the uh, guidance given by parents uh, depending upon the how the atmosphere of that particular uh, child is the child is like his parents are well in academics or they even not aware of uh, they are not exposed to the academic environment like taking my example i am the first person in my entire generation who is graduated okay so you can assume ki what kind of uh, background i must be having or uh, people like me having so here want the point i wanted to make is uh, depending upon your family environment okay your family environment should be educated and sound enough to guide you there has to be someone to who guide you properly okay and secondly Uh, it's your interest in which direction you want to go and why if you do not have any direction then take the guidance from uh, from the person who is far better than your parents or far better than you in understanding the things okay so it is better either to make your own way or to uh, follow the way which is guided by others but that has to be the best way okay so it's not like he randomly can uh, anyone can guide you to do the uh, uh, to do uh, commerce graduation or science graduation it's up to uh, it's up to you also ki in which field you want to make your career 
and secondly as uh, khalid uh, my colleague uh, said ki apart from degree you need to be uh, skilled enough because as time passes there will be in, in fact today also cutthroat competition is going on so in future also scenario would would be much more uh, worse if you can't cope up with the uh, growing environment so apart from degree we need to have a particular uh, we need to empower ourselves with particular skills okay we are need to be skilled enough okay to crack the interview okay not only to crack the interview but to survive in that particular job okay so over here what actually we can suggest to our government should uh, do uh, government should intervene over here okay, apart from uh, uh, you know apart, uh, apart from uh, studying the daily routines of the college okay they need to uh, introduce some kind of skilled courses advanced courses apart from their routine curriculum uh, routine uh, portion okay so over there government needs to intervene they need to add on, add on certain uh, practical aspects which are being applicable into the blue chips companies okay so for that government should take the case studies and should introduce into the college level into the university level so in future these kind of companies are you know operating in this way so this would be very much uh, knowledgeable and useful for the students if we, they can get to know these kind of ideas at the college front okay so uh, here government can have a role to play over there uh, that uh, through this they can you know make the life of uh, uh, the academics would be uh, standard of academics would be at much more better okay the standard would be at next level okay so here uh, i'm having a mixed feedback sir i would say actually sure point taken about becoming skilled and having the right mentor so that was a very good point uh, and advice sorin sorin can you hear us i think we have lost him he was facing network problem i think yes all right so it was a very interesting discussion let me just quickly summarize whatever we discussed for the benefit of the audience and people who are going to watch this video later on so some of the top reasons that uh, we mentioned why why we study for degrees is that parents want us to study so parents want their children to go for degrees and that's why uh, we we go to college and acquire those degrees so second was the kind of jobs that you want to get into so if we want to get into pharmaceuticals we may want to do a bsc degree and for with that in mind we do a degree in chemistry or uh, some related subject sometimes eligibility becomes the you know criteria to get into certain types of jobs we have to be eligible and the eligibility criterion is that you should be a graduate so in that case we go for degree so and some of the advantages is that when you go for a degree you get into a college a decent college which gives you a college campus placement so that gives you job security social prestige was one of the top reasons mentioned so in society when we are in front of relatives friends neighbors so we want to be seen as uh, qualified smart people who have gone to colleges and acquired btech mbas and ms mtech so for that reason we acquire degrees for social prestige Uh, rich people acquire degrees for snob value what we understood snob value is when you want to show off in front of your high society that you know i have acquired from harvard stanford or uh, such uh, schools across the world so that is one more reason why we acquire such degrees degrees don't guarantee success that is what all of you said but it is good to have a degree so that you have some advantage at least passion is more rated than uh, uh just getting marks and going through college passion and excellence in whatever you do and finally uh, the last two points that i liked the most was getting the right mentor so that you are guided on the right path right from the beginning as soon as you pass out from class 10th and look at becoming skilled not just acquiring degrees so in the past only having degree on paper was sufficient right now it is not just degree degree plus skills matter a lot so that was a very interesting summary and interesting discussion a uh, 50 minutes of power pack from all of you uh, all good thoughts from across india coming in so thank you very much for participating today